Dom, can we uh, debunk some more cinema myths, please? Hit me up. What we got? Uh, sound absorption. So uh, you need to sound absorb the whole room. Yeah, so we hear this a lot with cinema rooms as well. Um, I've seen it on many a forum and we've even been compared to by other companies offering fabric solutions where they propose to fully sound absorb the whole room. Um, if it's a cinema room and that's what you're doing to it, that's probably one of the most detrimental things you could possibly do to that room. You are going to make your room absolutely lifeless and I can't stress the importance enough that no, that is the worst thing you could do to a cinema room. It, it's, yeah, it's, it's terrible. Um, yes. And what's the difference then between soundproofing and sound absorption? <clears throat> Again, people struggle to see the difference sometimes. So absorption is where we're absorbing the sound fundamentally and this will come in a manner of different flavours from phones and other products and they are typically targeted at set frequencies as well which people forget about. So something like the super low frequencies, there's not really much out there other than large bass traps. There's maybe some other clever products but fundamentally you're absorbing everything. When we're talking about soundproofing or I prefer to say sound isolation, that is typically when we're trying to stop the sound from entering a room or leaving that room. Probably more important these days about the sound entering the room as well, because if we can get a super low noise floor, honestly, it just, you watch certain films and it creates this, this dynamic that is just mind blowing. It can be so scarily quiet. And then when something happens, it'll make you jump out of your skin. It is insane. So again, that's something super important when thinking about cinema room. Cool.